Hi everyone, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Me and, me and Lily and Rosie and Kathy and Mark are all wishing you the best. I'm making my corn pudding and then we're headed over to the Knox City area and have a really good dinner. I hope you're doing the same. And I just thank you so many of you that have been so kind to me during my move and all of the things I've been going through. So much appreciated and I love you all. It's Thanksgiving and I'm getting ready to make corn pudding and I told you I would show you how. It is so easy. Here's the ingredients and this is doubled. So I have two jiffies, the corn mix. I have a cup of butter. I have plenty of sour cream, a couple of eggs, cream corn and two cans of regular corn drained. I am gonna add cheese. Some people don't, but I will. And that's the first step is just to uh, get it all together. This is the pan I'm gonna make it in. So I'm gonna melt some butter, put a little butter on the bottom and start putting all this ingredients together. Okay, I am going to add the ingredients, the corn. Get them all out of there, right? Another can. Okay. Next, creamed corn. Make sure you drain the other corn, the whole corn. Real good. You don't want the water in there. Second can of creamed corn. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add the sour cream. About a half, like almost half of what I got here. Okay. I'm going to mix it up. Okay, next to mix in will be the jiffy and the eggs and the cheese. There's one package. Second package, okay. The eggs. Oh yeah. I use two jumbo eggs, but you can use three small. Mix that together. You can see how fluffy it'll be. Now this is completely finished. The only thing is the butter, which is left, and I'm gonna put the cheese in too. It's just gonna give it a little more, a little more savory, I guess. I asked and everybody wants the cheese. So, okay. I'm gonna put, oh, about a cup. Okay, I'm going to top it with it also. Mix that in. Yeah, I'm using this big pot because I don't have my mixing, my huge mixing bowl is somewhere in the garage in a bin. <laughs> okay, now the butter's the last thing and um, I'm going to pour this into its bake dish and add the butter then. Adding it all in. Okay. Okay. 
And now we add the butter. The butter's just gonna go wherever it wants to go. That's what they said. I believe them. And we're gonna put that in the oven and at 350, which has been preheating. And let the butter soaks in, and then I'm gonna to top it with cheese later on. I believe it's about an hour cooking. I'll get back with you on that for sure. Whenever it looks done. This is how it turned out. I'm letting it rest. I'll put tin foil over it. And uh, hopefully it's completely, yeah, it looks, feels good. Looks delicious. Hope it's a hit. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to do more cooking videos. Thanks for watching.